All right, let's explore a few more tools and tricks. So let's go back to creating a lathe. Uh, this time I want to show some of the uh, Boolean operations that you can use to create something a little bit more sophisticated um, if you think outside the box. Essentially, uh, you know, we've all seen these uh, chairs that look like from uh, futuristic movies. Uh, basically, imagine we want to cut, carve out or cut out a hole out of this. Um, I just drew one curve here and I'm going to hit the space bar to move on to the next object and I'm just going to draw another one here. And it's a little bit big. Um, maybe we can make it smaller or undo that. Doesn't matter. I mean, this, this is really just to, to illustrate the point. <clears throat> and we can also um, edit the points. I'm going to go grab the uh, widget move tool here and right click on the curve so that I can edit that curve a little bit. And then also go back to the move tool and uh, move the whole the whole object. Uh, it's actually moving the curve, but since that's the only curve there in this particular case, it moves the whole object. Anyway, so let's say I want to use this <coughs> second part to carve out a hole from the first part. All right, and basically what we do is we group them together in a way that the cutting part is the child and the parent object is the one out here. And what we see here right now in the upper left is that the lathe is the first part and that's lathe number nine and then lathe number 11 was the second one. So all you gotta do is grab it and drop it over to the lathe number nine. <clears throat> and in this case, um, and then you click it and that becomes the selection for actually the whole group now. So that this, this operation I just did it was to group uh, the two together and make sure that lathe number 11 is identified as the child to the parent object, which is lathe number 9. And at this time, you can group, select number 9 and go, that's the parent, and go to the model tool and look at subtract children. And this is basically a group of different Boolean operations here. And subtract children will basically use the child objects to cut out a hole from the parent objects that they intersect with. <clears throat> now, it doesn't delete the originals, they're still there, so you see a little bit of a messy situation up, up first, but what you see is that there is a new quad mesh that has been created. Lathe 9 and 11 are still there. You simply hit H for hide, or perhaps uh, model or whatever it is, there is a hide tool. So <clears throat> whenever you select one of these objects, you can hide it and all of the children are also hidden. So the only thing left now is the quad mesh. Make sure you click that so you can do stuff with it. And it still looks a little bit yucky up here along the edge, but that's uh, really quickly fixed. Simply use the smooth tool now. Right. <clears throat> you have um, the smooth tool under the model. And for this selected model, if you now hit S for smooth, or even Shift S, it will go a little bit faster. You want to make sure though that you select the part. So there you go. Shift S a couple of times and you're going to have a nicely curved surface. That of course you can do a lot more too. You can uh, grab for instance the widget move tool again and we're now working at the, at the uh, mesh level so we can do all sorts of funky stuff with that. Uh, that would be for instance to pull out some <coughs> some feet if that were the case or uh, perhaps uh, with less impact on how the neighboring points move down, we can have little spiky feet right down here. <clears throat> That's uh, a first look at uh, using the Boolean operation to cut out holes. Of course, uh, you can create all sorts of really wacky stuff with that, and it really helps to uh, think of you know, how would you use a drill bit perhaps to go carve it out and to cut stuff out of this.